Superman 3, 1983, directed by Richard Lester, took the beloved superhero series in a more comedic and lighter direction, diverging significantly from the tone of the first two films. Christopher Reeve returns as Superman, delivering his usual charismatic performance, but the film's focus shifts towards slapstick humor, largely due to the casting of comedian Richard Pryor as Gus Gorman, a computer genius who unwittingly becomes involved in a plot to destroy Superman. What made Superman 3 iconic for its time was its willingness to experiment with the superhero genre by blending action with comedy, which was a bold move in the early 1980s. The film stands out for its depiction of Superman's darker side when he is exposed to synthetic kryptonite. The battle between the evil corrupted Superman and his good Clark Kent persona is a highlight, offering one of the more intriguing and unique moments in superhero cinema. This inner conflict showcases Reeves' versatility and adds a layer of complexity to the character that hadn't been explored in previous films. The film's visual effects were also impressive for the time, especially during the sequences where Superman's powers are on full display. The fight scenes and destruction sequences are well executed, giving fans some thrilling action. However, Superman 3 suffers from several significant flaws. The most obvious issue is the imbalance in tone. The inclusion of Richard Pryor's comedic character shifts the focus away from Superman's narrative, leading to a disjointed film. Pryor's performance, while funny in its own right, feels out of place in a Superman movie, and his role overshadows the main plot at times. The film lacks a compelling central villain, and Ross Webster, played by Robert Vaughn, is a poor substitute for the menacing threats of Lex Luthor or General Zod from the earlier films. Additionally, the storyline feels unfocused, jumping between comedic subplots and darker themes without a cohesive blend. The romantic angle with Lana Lang, Annette O'Toole, adds some charm, but lacks the emotional weight and depth of the Superman-Lois Lane relationship from the previous films. In the end, Superman 3 is a mixed bag, it's iconic for its attempt to take risks with the character and genre, but these risks don't always pay off. While there are standout moments, like Superman's internal struggle and the impressive action scenes, the film's uneven tone, lack of a strong villain, and comedic detours ultimately diminish its impact. Despite its flaws, it remains an interesting chapter in Superman's cinematic legacy, showcasing Christopher Reeve's unwavering commitment to the role but it didn't quite capture the magic of its predecessors.